Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Thursday. Thursdays are my off days, guys, so it's like my Friday. I kind of, my new schedule, I, I grind in, in my workouts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, so that I can have Thursday as a break. So it's kind of like my Friday. So I'm heading to my, uh, my corporate account, South Bay Construction. Shout out to South Bay Construction. Um, and I just thought of this idea. I just thought of this this analogy, and I, I, I try to be as as quick to to jump on Facebook Live when I have a thought come to me before I lose it, before I lose the the, the confidence to talk about it. But the reason, hey Maria, what's up Maria? The reason I'm I'm successful in fitness. I mean that, that's always the starting point because everybody wants to be in better shape. But it, it again, it all relates to everything that I do, that we do. So the reason that I've been successful in staying lean, you know, getting even leaner actually and stronger into my 40s than I was in my 20s, and the reason I'm able to push through, you know, doubt and, and, and fear to chase the things I want is, yes, I want it, and that's part of my five steps. But I think more importantly, Chasing greatness, chasing dreams, chasing the best version of me, my whole BTY mentality is a sport to me. It's not a hobby. I don't play around with it. And anybody who's played sports at a high level, um, anybody who hopefully wants their kids to get the valuable lessons from sports that they that they should be getting, should appreciate and 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 encourage this fact or this reality about about sports about 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 playing a sport as opposed to a hobby the sport has a schedule the sport has games the sport has a season that you can't change if you're an athlete I always say in my classes you know a coach once told me uh, I had an injury or something and he said they ain't changing the game Bluford the games at, at at 12 o'clock on Saturday. So, if your if your groin is hurt, if you don't feel well, the game is not. They ain't rescheduling the game because you don't feel well. Feel well. So that's how I approach my my dreams. That's how I approach attacking what I want to be in life. Is that it's non-negotiable. I know that whether I feel like working out or not, my fat cells don't care. Whether I feel like writing or not. That book publisher doesn't care. Whether I feel like chasing my dream of being a speaker or not, that dream doesn't care. And so we have to approach what we want in life with that mentality that it's not going to be perfect all the time. There's going to be stuff that gets in our way, roadblocks, setbacks, uh, inconveniences. And we can't just say, okay, I'll get back to it when things are better. I'll get back to it when I feel better. I'll get back to, the, back to it after this test or after this, 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 this project. No, they ain't canceling the game. The game is gonna be Saturday at 12, whether you're ready or not. So I wanna be great at speaking. I'm moving toward that goal and vision every single day. There are days I don't want to do it. There are days where I'm like, well, I got this going on. I got this going on. This has me down. This has me depressed. This has me stressed. I'll wait till tomorrow. No, my dream ain't waiting for me. Somebody else is moving toward their speaking uh, uh, dream who's going to be on my stage in a year from now, in two years from now, if I don't capitalize and seize the opportunity in front of me. So that's how I'm different, right? I don't always want to work out. I don't always want to do Facebook lives. I don't always want to write. I don't always want to listen to motivational talks, but I do it because I know the game is on Saturday at 12 o'clock, whether I'm ready or not. Your fat cells don't give a damn what the reason is you can't work out. Your fat cells don't give a damn what the reason is you're eating that cake. They don't care. Your body composition does not care. Oh, but I have a hurt wrist. Your body don't care. Oh, well, I, I was sick. Your body don't care. I couldn't study for the test because uh, because my my uh, I had a headache or or my daughter was like, who cares? They, they, they ain't changing the test because you're sick. 
right? I, I couldn't go to practice today because my mom needed me to do, so the game's on Saturday. If you ain't ready to play, it, it, it's gonna be apparent. So you're not gonna care what the reason was you couldn't put up 30 shots, right? Or the reason was you couldn't, couldn't w operate the way you wanna operate. Life does not care. Your dream does not care. And when you stop treating it like a hobby and start treating it like a sport, you'll be successful. Right, Oscar? You will be successful once you start treating life and your dream and what you say you want to be in life like a sport, with a schedule, with games that come up whether you're ready or not. In football, the season starts in September. Whether you've trained for it or not, Every week there's a game on Saturday, whether you had a test or not. So that's how I'm different. I don't let stuff get in the way of my dream, of, my, of, of what I want to be. I want to be lean and strong. Nothing gets in the way of that. I want to be a speaker. Nothing's getting in the way of that. I want to do well with uh, my business. Nothing's getting in the way of that. I want to be a great father and husband. I've been to all my kids' events. It's important to me. Nothing's getting in the way of that, period. Does stuff come up? Yes, yeah, sometimes. But we treat our goal and our dream like it's a hobby. I'm sorry guys. Like 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 it's 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 being on a on a on a on a baseball team in college versus playing in a softball league as an adult. On a baseball team, you got three games a week. And if you're a pitcher, you pitch every third game. Whether you feel great or not. On a softball league, I can't make it tonight, guys. My daughter's sick. I can't make it tonight, guys. I got a, I got a project to do tomorrow at work. Okay, that's a hobby. That's a hobby versus a sport, right? The sport guys, they have final exams coming up. They have stuff going on. They had a breakup with their girlfriend or whatever. They have stuff going on, but the game's on Wednesday, whether you're ready or not. It's not a hobby. It's not a hobby, it's life, right? It's a sport. So. When you start treating your dream and your goal and your vision like a sport, with a schedule, with games, with a record, then you'll be successful. As long as it's a hobby in your life, something you do for fun, I'm gonna work out when I, when I feel like it, when it's fun to me, when I see a cool ad, when I'm going to Maui for vacation, I'm gonna work, work on this book, when I feel good about it, I'm gonna, no, it's gonna be, if it's a hobby, you ain't gonna be successful. So if you wanna win, at, at reaching your goal or your vision, whatever it is, you better start treating it like a sport and stop treating it like a hobby. All right, guys. Have a good day. I'm out of here. I'll probably check in again later or tomorrow. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. As always, try to get better every day, right? BTY is our mentality. BTY is our mantra. BTY is how we live and breathe. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.